Epidermal layers. We're learning the four to five layers that make up the epidermis. When we look at the skin model, we learn that there's the two layers of the skin, the most superficial layer, the epidermis, and then the middle layer, the dermis, and then we'll say, well, subcutaneous or below the skin is the hypodermis that's not part of the skin, yet we teach it as part of the integumentary system. So I tend to go back and just say there's three layers, epidermis, dermis, and hypodermis. When we look at the epidermis and you slide over in this model, you can see that there's multiple colors going through here because it's trying to show you that there's multiple layers. There's five layers of the epidermis in the soles of my feet and the palms of my hands. So I have extra protection for that contact and sensation. Other parts of the body, it's four layers of the epidermis. So my skin on my arm is four layers, hands, five. So we're learning those five layers. So if I take the epidermis and expand just on all of these here, the way I remember this is come, let's get sun burned. Come, let's get sunburned. So from superficial down is stratum corneum, stratum lucidum, stratum granulosum, stratum spinosum, and stratum basale, which is also called germinativum. I'm using the word stratum. Strata, stratum is referring to layers. So these layers include these. As I describe them, I'm going to go from deep to superficial. So basale or germinatima is just that dark little line here at the base. These are the cells that are, are the most like embryonic stem cells. They will gradually become spinosum, granulosum, lucidum, and corneum. So they make it to the top. And so this takes roughly about a month, around 30 days, for basale to come up. Remember we said epithelial tissue is our deeper tissue. It's our 99 cent cells that I can keep producing over and over again. So basale is our young cells that are going through mitosis. And we'll talk about specialized cells that we see in here to protect them. They will turn into spinosum. And spinosum is referring to the appearance that the way the protein, the filaments look inside the cells, that it looks like spiny. So we call it spinosum. They are starting to go through a little bit of a dying off process. They're still dividing, but just not as much as basale. When we get to granulosum, again, they appear grainy. So the term granulosum, just by structural appearance, but I see a change in color here. Granulosum, now the cells are starting to flat off and they're start to, starting to die. What's happening is we're filling with a protein called keratin. That keratin's replacing the cytoplasm to give me some waterproofing and some strength. So what I'm trying to describe is this slowly what we call degeneration or the cells are dying off. Once we get to lucidum, which means lucid or transparent or clear, the cells are now dead. So from lucidum up to corneum, these are all dead cells. Lucidum is what we call thick skin. You have thin and thick. Thick is that one unique layer that's for my palms of my hands and soles of my feet. We only see those in hands and feet. So lucidum is referring to thick skin in those two areas. It's dead cells. And then corneum. Corneum is a thick layer. Spinosum is our thickest, but corneum can be about 25, 30 layers. Remember we said this is stratified squamous epithelium. So all of this is stacked cells, but that corneum is our last layer of dead cells that give us that overall windshield protection of the body. So come, let's get suns burned. This is all the layers of the epidermis, the type of tissue, stratified squamous epithelium. In another video, we'll talk about the specialized cells that are within this layer.